You're watching your favorite show, Polycab, India's number one cable and YS company, Dream Home Season 6. Like we all know, a home is a person's dream. And yes, it's also a reflection of a person's personality. Today we have yet another beautiful home. Before that, let me introduce to you our panel of judges. With us on our show, we have Anuj Gopakumar, the chief architect of Kumar Group. We also have with us Sudha, who is the architect and interior designer of Swast. And on this show, we have a beautiful home from Kodiri and it's called Cloud9. So let's take a look at this home. Hi and welcome to Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6. Today, we are outside the house Cloud9 in Kodiri in Kannur district. Cloud9 has a very good exterior landscape. As you see around, lawn grass has been spread across very lavishly. Paving tiles has been uh, used across the house uh, like all around it. And then a uh, uh, small car porch area has been created that feels like an extension of the house. As the design of the house is a fully contemporary style, the sit-out has been kept in contemporary style as well. Natural stones has been used on the walls and one section you can see wood panelling has been done. Italian marble has been used for the floorings. Uh, ceiling has been kept very simple, straight lines has been used. Many column pillars has been erected all through the sit-out area. The door you can see, it's a normal door, a plain type of door is given uh, which is uh, slightly contrast to the contemporary style. So let's move inside and find out more about this house. Italian marble has been used on the flooring. As for the ceiling part, the ceiling has been kept open, so the ceiling extends to the roof on one side. On one side, the, uh, we have a ceiling over here that has been done with wooden panelings. We have uh, huge windows on both sides and uh, like as you, as you can see, all the colours have been formed with lighter shades. Uh, a very good design forms on one of the walls. Uh, many lightnings has been used over here, LED lightnings and then hanging lightnings, much hand, uh, lightings has been used. Just in front of me on the foyer area, we have a, uh, a wall that is made up of natural stone. Uh, now the dining hall has, has been done up in such a way like one area acts as a dining hall, the other area acts as a patio which is like a see-through structure has been used. Again the patio extends to the uh, kitchen which acts like a bar counter. On my both sides we have uh, the two bedroom that's for uh, on the first floor. The uh, natural stone wall extends till the dining room area and now we have a staircase that is neatly tucked up on one of the corner. Again it's not easily seen from this side. So this uh, dining hall has been kept for private from all the other sides. It's a eight seater dining table has been provided for the dining section. A wash area has also been neatly tucked away in one of the corners. Behind me we have an open courtyard area also. A modular kitchen with a island cooking range top has been set up for the house. Colors are like uh, it's a combination of lighter and darker shades. For the modular kitchen setup, all the colors are being used uh, in, in the lighter shade and then backsplash has been done again with the darker shade. Two windows has been provided again that are darker in color and a different setup has been done all through the ceiling area that's like a false ceiling. It, it's also in a darker shade area. And in front of me, we have a pantry top so that it extends to the patio on the other side. On, uh, on my right hand side, we have another separate kitchen for, uh, like, that acts like a working kitchen and a storeroom is also provided. Right, so then let's start with you today. What do you have to say about the landscape and exteriors of this home? Cloud 9, they call it. I yeah. think they've given it the feel also. Wow. So okay. it, 
it's a very exciting elevation. I, I like the way the house is set into its landscape. Uh, there are tall trees and there is a sloping terrain which they have highlighted by using certain elements that are sloping there. Uh, the, there's a lot of uh, vertical and horizontal lines as we see in the um, uh, in, with respect to the pillars and the uh, cladding and all that. But it's all going well together. Uh, I like the fact that they've gone for a granite, the natural stone granite plus wood plus whites. So altogether, it's, there's a good balance of all these things. Uh, in the planning stage, I really like the fact that there are a lot of verandas going left and right. Didn't quite connect how with this. I assume it is for the porch to uh, veranda or uh, leading from here to there. Altogether, it's a nice, exciting cloud nine. And does the cloud nine excite you? It's an interesting looking house. I like the landscape. They have done lovely landscape. There are some area they have given a very uh, sloped landscape and uh, grey uh, stone uh, paving. Uh, so uh, some thought has been gone into the landscape. It's coming out very nice. And the elevation as such of the house looks interesting, very nice. I love the natural uh, rubble, uh, granite rubble which is natural. It's not a cladding. It looks like a natural stone. Um, so that, that brings a lot of elements. Some of the stone, natural rubble stone walls have been incorporated into the house also, which is a nice connection with the exterior. Um, I, I saw a, kind of like an extended uh, pillared veranda. Um, somehow I felt that it looks like an afterthought. Uh, and it's blocking the view to the entire house, you know. Okay. So that that veranda could have been done little little more better. But overall, uh, the form of the house looks. Now the last thing, which is the value for money. So, the, what do you have to say about that? I guess uh, on first sight, the house has a nice appeal to it. Okay. So, I guess it's money well spent. Okay. I I guess it's only the staircase and the slightly artificial looking courtyard that I, I didn't like the green grass, the, mm. the artificial plants that come there. Only that was a, a no-no for me, but the staircase and the courtyard. Other than that, I guess the house is good and it's money well spent. And you, do you also feel the same? I completely agree. I think the money is kind of well spent in this house and they've, for the kind of money they've spent, they've got the desired effect. Now let's listen to the scores of this home. Let's start with you. So the, how much have you rated the exterior and landscape? I've given it 20. 20 on 25 and Anu? I've given it 19. Alright, 19 on 25, the interiors of the house? 18. 18 on 25 and you? I like the interiors of the house, I've given it a 19. 19 on 25 again, the colour, lighting and decor, so the, how much have you rated that? Yeah, it's simple and well coordinated, 19. 19 on 25 and you? I've also given it a 19 on 25. 19 again on 25, and the last thing which is the value for money, how much is that? Yeah, a couple of things brought the points down, as you know it's the staircase, so it's 18. 18 on 25 and you are known? Uh, I've given it a 19 on 25. So the grand total for Sudha on 100 is 75 and for Anuj it is 76 and for public it's 38 on 50 which is a grand total of 189 on 250.